fair to say that discussion on GST was the most awaited topic of this year's budget. This is one reform which industry was hoping that the finance minister will dwell upon, not so much as an announcement as regards date, but in terms of laying out a roadmap. As is well known, some of the hurdles to GST include states' concern on loss of fiscal autonomy and loss of revenue and therefore assurance on compensation for revenue loss. As expected, Finance Minister did refer to GST well ahead in his budget speech and announced with confidence that he expects to find a solution on GST in this fiscal year. Under the circumstances, keeping in mind the structure of the GST proposed, I think this is the best he could do. Having recognized that ACZ scheme has not lived up to its expectation in terms of acting as an engine of growth, the finance minister has announced that there would be changes brought about in the scheme as a revival measure. Possibly some of the changes in ACZ laws would be announced along with the changes in the foreign trade policy later this month, though some procedural amendments in the context of service tax exemption to ACZ units have been brought in the budget notifications. There was a very encouraging announcement regarding setting up of a high level committee under the CBC to ascertain areas where clarity in tax laws is required. Taxpayers and tax bodies can make use of this initiative to take up those issues to the CBC that need to be resolved on a pan-industry basis. As expected, this budget was more about reforms and installing confidence in the industry and that Central Board of Excise and Customs was prepared to be a facilitator and it was less about rate changes and exemptions.